No one said it was going to be easy. Nonsense. the recipe either. <coughs> oh, too many petals. Not enough sea salts. Perhaps the oil needs more olives. Oh, <coughs> next time I'll have to leave the windows open. What happened, Grandmother? Oh, oh it's you. <coughs> None of your business. <coughs> <laughs> Wash your hands, Porter. my mother in for breakfast? Oh, whatever Olestein's doing out there in her workshop, she doesn't want to stop for us. Huh? <laughs> uh-huh. But 
I, I rang the dinner bell and Porter heard it all the way from the field. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't want to well, bother her. I know she can be a little um, stubborn, but you can't let her intimidate you. I know. <clears throat> Is that all? Oh, uh, oops. Much better. Thank you. Dear, your hat? No! Oh. <laughs> I'm worried about her. She's always been busy being the only lantern maker in the valley. But this year has been harder on her, with her shaking sickness. What's the shaking sickness? It's, uh, uh see, your uh, grandmother is, uh, well, she's old. Now I see why she doesn't eat with us. You know her hands hurt her more than she lets on. Uh huh. I know how to help her. You do? Porter can join her for the rest of the day. It would be good for her to have some company in her workshop. Mom. Uh, are you are you sure about that? Uh, I mean, if Olustine needed any help, uh, wouldn't she just ask? Uh, right. Probably not. She promised to pass along the family trade to Porter, just as her grandfather did for her. She promised for next year, and there's one whole day left to this year. Only one more day? So why not start today? <laughs> you should know better than to argue with a pregnant woman. I mean, uh, uh, listen to your mother. That's right. <sighs> No, you be good, son. And, and don't forget to bring your grandmother her breakfast. Honey, are you ready? I'll, I'll take the wagon around front. Morning, friends. <laughs> huh? Who are we all betting on today? <laughs> <laughs> Final bets. Okay, universe. It's time to step up. Then it seems neither of us has a choice. Uh, Are you coming in or not, young man? Close the door. I I brought you your breakfast. Leave it there. Uh, this time I'll use one more of these and one less of those. Here we go. I've never seen a blue fire before. What is this? Need help. 
Medicine for your hands? It's, it's something to calm my nerves. Does it work? For a short while, at least. Maybe you should eat something. I don't have any time. If I stop now, I'll never discover the secret. The secret? Yes, a secret. And do you want to help? Then I have just the job for you. <laughs> uh... Surprised to see you again, Keelan. Well, good morning to you too, Sunshine. What could you possibly have to be so happy about? Huh? You have no job, your clothes are falling apart, and your wife left you months ago. For what? A baker? <laughs> she says that he's stable. <laughs> stable! I'm stable! How stable can he be with that giant baker's hat? One gust of wind, and whoosh, splat, he'd fall right under his own grinding wheel. What are you doing here, Kaelin? The same thing I've done all year. Oh, so making a losing bet? Har, har. This time, I'm making a winning bet. Do you have any coins? Mm, no. Then what are you going to buy a ticket with? This. What is this? My house. My empty, lonely house. The universe has taken everything else away from me. Your house? Are you sure? I've never been more sure of anything in my life. My year-long streak of bad luck is finally coming to an end. <laughs> That's yours to lose. Who's the lucky pig today? Right. Okay, universe. It's just you and me now. Give me a sign and let me know which little oinker to pick. A sign. Any sign. Final bets! Come on. That one! It's clean. Good. Are you making more lanterns to hand out tonight? They're all made, one for each and every soul in the valley. What do you think I do all year while you're out playing ball? Oh. Is that blue oil the secret you were talking about? Yes. What is it for? It wouldn't be a secret if I told you, now would it? Can I help Grandmother? Hmm. Oh, I must be tired. It's making my hand shake. Of course you can help. The light is holding. Is that the old fortress? Oh. Of course not. It's only an old painting. Not again! <laughs> that wasn't the secret recipe, but it's close. Now what? I try again, while you...
The last one, Dad. So, uh, well, uh, what's going on in there, son? I'm not supposed to tell. Grandmother says it's a secret. Okay. <laughs> you listen to Olestein. That's the best thing to do. Yep, that's the best thing to do. The wagon is almost full. Do you think we can find the secret in time? We will if this contraption of ours works. One of these. It has to be. These are the only possible combinations of ingredients left. Are you ready to start? Ready, Grandmother. Oh, grandmother is so formal. <laughs> uh, why don't you call me Nona? Okay, Nona. I'm ready. Now, Porter. Next year. Yes, yes. Oh, there's always next year. You're a good boy, Porter. Go tell your father that I'll be out in a moment. Okay.
hurry up or we'll be late. There are dozens of lanterns to hand out before midnight. have to do this tonight on New Year's Eve? Uh-huh. Uh, you've officially made this the worst year of my life. Oh, don't go putting this on me, Keelan. Everyone else only gambles with what they can afford to lose. Come on in, my darlings. Tonight, we sleep in a bed. <laughs> Enjoy the festivities, Keelan. One coin for me, and one for your daughter. I've saved two of my very best for you. Whoa, these look strong. <laughs> Think they might make it all the way to the moon tonight? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go. Why do we only give you one coin? That's not much for a whole year of work. I asked my old grandfather that very question. What did he say? He said that traditions like this festival are the glue that holds people together. And his time was a small price to keep the whole valley happy. Oh. Between you and me, I like the attention. <laughs> it's nice to have everyone come to you, even if it's only once a year, especially at my age. <laughs> Here's the last lantern just for you. One for every person in town. <coughs> now, go find your parents. It's almost time to start. I can wait for you, Nona. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be right behind you. Okay, Nona. <coughs> it's almost time. I have to hurry. Good evening, Olstein. I'm here for a lantern. A lantern? Oh, of course. Uh, 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 one moment, please, uh, uh, young man. Oh. Oh. Uh, just let me find that coin. I know I have one here somewhere. Uh-huh. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't have a coin. I don't have anything left. I lost it all betting on pigs. Pigs, you say? I should have stopped, but I thought I could win it all back! <sighs> Do you ever feel like the universe is working against you? It sounds like you're the one working against you. My wife said that too, just before she left me. But I couldn't stop myself. The racetrack kept calling me back. Uh-huh. Keelan, Keelan, come back, Keelan. This time you'll win for sure. Here you are, and don't worry about the coin. I have a feeling this new year is going to hold a second chance for both of us. Or at least for me. Second chance? I sure could use one of those. Thanks, Olstein. Olstein? chance. Huh? Oh, which way was it? 
Everything looks so different at night. to do. Nona! 
It worked. It actually worked. Oh, the old stories were true. Huh? A uh, happy new year, Holstein? No, oh, and a happy new year to you too, son. Mwah. No, uh, uh, uh. I feel as if the weight of an entire year has been lifted from my hands. Hmm. You would look so handsome with a great big beard. <laughs> you know what? I was thinking about growing one. I'm off to work, honey. Ah, let's get that blood flowing. Ah, ah. Ooh, it's gonna be a good year. No, a great year. Oh, I can taste it in the air. Hmm. Hey, what's this now? Pig races? Hmm. Are you all right? What happened? Uh, well, Olestein uh, kissed me, uh, and she called me son. She did what? Are you two talking about me? Oh, good morning. Wash your hands, Porter. <sighs> <sighs> I don't need to be picked up. I'm almost eight. <laughs> My little man. Uh, mother? Yes, dear? I've been... Dear? Huh? Your hat? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Well, we've been talking, and we think it's time for Porter to learn the family trade, for you to teach him how to make the paper lanterns. Do you? What? I'm just a kid. You said it yourself, son. You are almost eight. That's not what I meant. Yes. Before you answer, I prepared a list. I will. <clears throat> First item. You yourself were younger than Porter when great-grandfather began teaching you. Uh, wait, what did you say? I said, I agree. I'll apprentice the boy in the family trade. You will? On one condition. What? Please give him one more year. I was too young when grandfather started teaching me. And besides, I feel more than healthy enough to handle this year by myself. <laughs> yes, I'm only seven now. Give me another year, Mom. All right, next year then. <sighs> Honestly, I didn't expect you to say yes so quickly. I spent all night writing this list. <laughs> I know better than to argue with a politician. Oh, uh, speaking of which, I don't want to miss the first council meeting of the year. Would you like a ride to town, councilwoman? My wagon is at your service. Oh, well, sir. <laughs> How could I refuse? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I finally found the secret of the valley, grandfather. The old stories of the fortress were true. Now my lantern is made of bronze instead of paper. And I never have to let it go again. <laughs> so I bet on which little pig I think will win in a race? For the fourth time, yes. Well, how do you make them run? I use the carrot on the stick method. Ingenious! Here are some coins. Oh, wait, uh, what happens if I pick the wrong pig? If you lose today, there will always be another race tomorrow. Now, which pig do you like to win? 
I'd like that one to win, please. That was a waste of time. And coins. I won't be going back to those pig races anytime soon. The universe has spoken, and I'm listening. Tomorrow, it's right back to work. That's a sure fact. Come on! Run, pig, run! Get that carrot!
you judge me with those eyes? I have to do it again! makes the same bad joke every year. Why do we only give you one coin? That's not much for a whole year of work. It's because I love my work so much. Oh. Now here's your lantern, Porter. Go find your parents. It's almost time to start. Yes, Grandmother. Oh, my. I have to hurry. Good evening, Olestine. I'm here for a lantern. No, oh, how did I forget you again? Get me? Again? You look for your coin while I find you a lantern. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't have a coin! I don't have anything left! <sighs> you ever feel like the universe is working against you? The universe made you bet on pig races? You heard about that, huh? No, Chief. Forget the coin. Take this and enjoy the festival. Uh, Olestine, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but do you think this lantern will fly? Holstein? I'm here for a lantern. I have your lantern right here. Uh, just let me find my coin. Forget the coin. Oh, thank you. How can you make the same mistakes every year? Every year? I don't understand. You always have the same excuse. How the universe is working against you. Well, I... The universe didn't make you bet your house on a pig race. Uh, news sure travels fast around here. Life doesn't happen to you, Keelan. 
You have a choice in what you do. But what if I keep making bad choices? Then take responsibility and stop doing it. Are you all right, Olestine? Your hands are shaking. Maybe you should sit down. Oh, no, I don't have time for this nonsense. You'll never do anything different. Is that your lantern? Let me help you down to the water. I'm not going to the water, and I don't need your help. You're not going to the water? <laughs> Where are you going? mistakes over and over. How did you figure that out so fast? I'm right? Really? I learned the story of the old fortress as a kid, but I wouldn't have dreamed it was true. I don't have time for this. You'll have to come back with me. Okay, now we're talking. Do you need some help? Stop asking me that! I don't need any help! What am I going to do? Where's Porter? Stop playing with your tooth, Porter. You'll make it loose. You're not pregnant anymore, Mom? Pregnant? Is my baby sister upstairs? Baby sister? Oh, what has gotten into you today? 
<laughs> it sounds like somebody wants a baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> How about it, honey? <laughs> oh, looks like breakfast will have to do for now. Dear? Huh? Your hat? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> What happened to your beard, Dad? You know what? I was thinking about growing one. <clears throat> I've been... We've been talking, and we think it's time. Well, I, I wrote this list of reasons for Porter to... Uh, allow me, my dear. I believe it's high time for Porter to learn the family trade of lantern making. What? Uh, really? Oh, he'll be turning eight soon. But I already turned eight. Ouch! Uh, and that's far older than I was when I started with my grandfather. <laughs> this is so surprising. <laughs> that would be wonderful. And what time is better than the present? Mom? Listen to your grandmother and do what she says. Uh, we'll be taking the wagon. Uh. <laughs> Did my mother just volunteer to teach our son? I guess you stayed up all night writing that list for nothing, huh? <laughs> Let me enjoy this for one moment, please. What happened last night? How did I get my tooth back? Well, the last night you remember wasn't actually last night. Uh, what does that mean? I'll explain it on the way to find someone, and I'm not letting you out of my sight, not for a moment. Now, where do I begin? Do you know the story of the Old Valley Fortress? Only that it was destroyed by an army, and now we have a lantern festival about it. Oh, oh, oh there's a little more to it than that. <laughs> Long ago, the farmers of this valley lived under the protection of a mighty stone fortress. A fortress with a secret. A secret? Mm hmm Somehow they knew exactly when any disaster was going to strike the valley. Any disaster. Floods, famines, or fires. How did they know what would happen? That was the power of the secret. If a disaster struck, they would restart the year. Just like we did last night, with the blue light. That's right. And because they remembered exactly what was going to happen, they could prepare before it struck again. I remember losing my tooth, but it's still here. That's because you haven't lost it yet. Just as your father hasn't grown his big beard, and you haven't had your eighth birthday. And how Mom isn't pregnant with my baby sister. Oh, yes, that too. I have a house? Coins in my pocket. My wife is back? No, she never left. Could it be that the universe finally took pity and has given me a second chance? They were jealous neighbors from the other valleys who wanted the secret for themselves. Why didn't the people share it with them? Because it was too powerful for just anyone to use. They had to protect it. But isn't that selfish? Selfish? Who knows what the others would have used the secret for? If the people knew they were going to be attacked by an army, why didn't they restart the year and prepare for that? The army came on New Year's Eve, so they didn't have a chance to use it. By the next morning, the fortress was burned and the secret lost. 
It was lost until I found it. Now it's mine to protect. You don't remember me at all? Should I? I gave you the deed to my house last night. If I had a house, would I sleep here? It's as if last year is happening again, and only I know it. Oh, the universe is giving me a second chance. Are you betting or not, Mr. Universe? Oh, yes, I am. And I know just the little oinker who's gonna win this race. Grandmother, I don't remember any disasters. What's that? Disasters? If you restarted the year again, like in the old days, what disaster are you saving us from? Oh, well, uh, I... And if we're the only ones who know, shouldn't we tell someone? We can't do that. We have to protect it to keep the secret. Secret! Who knows what they would do with it? <laughs> not even Mom? No, not even Mom. No one can know. You have to promise me that you won't tell anyone about the secret, okay? Uh... Your mother told you to do what I said, didn't she? Yes. Promise me you won't tell anyone, Porter. Okay, Grandmother, I promise. That's a good boy. What about the man, the one that was in there with us? He's the reason we need to find a pig race. A pig race? What? Pig racing? Why didn't I know about this? It's not something you want to have anything to do with. <laughs> Keelan? Huh? Olestein? You found me fast. This is amazing! Thank you. Oh! Thank you! Don't thank me. Why would you come back here to make the same mistakes again? Mistakes? Your wife always leaves you because of this place. Always? How many times have you used that lantern? Enough to know what I'm talking about. I know something, too. I may have bet on all the losers last year, but I also remember each and every winner! And my wife won't leave me when I'm rich! I didn't use the lantern to make you rich! I notice your hands aren't shaking anymore. That's why you do it, isn't it? Restarting the year makes your hands healthy again. <gasps> Look, you can stop worrying, Olstein. I'm not gonna tell anyone about this gift. It's between you and me. You go your way, and I'll go mine. You won't even see me again if you don't want to. Agreed? Fine. Agreed. Mm. Hey! Huh? You there! Keep your boy away from the pigs! We were just leaving. Come on, Porter. We're done here. Yes! Can I come back? No. And don't tell your mother I brought you here. Floor. Did 
teach you about the secret of the fortress? Not all of it. But what little was known was passed down through the generations of lantern makers. I worked for a long time to discover this special blue oil. When I finally found it, it was almost too late for me. <laughs> Besides, my grandfather had no interest in learning the secret. He took the New Year's festival very seriously. Did you know that our family has been making these lanterns since the very beginning? Back to when the fortress was destroyed and the farmers began the festival. <laughs> Why are the lanterns made of paper? We make the lanterns out of paper so they are light enough to float. And we let them burn to remind us that, like the old fortress, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> when I was your age, I never wanted to let my lantern go. What's the point of holding on to something that's meant to float away? How did you get to be so wise? Such beautiful eyelashes. Huh? What? All the girls at school must be jealous. They come from your father's side of the family. All you'll get from me is my mustache. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, don't you worry. I'm much too old to care about things like that. Mother, you're crying? Uh, I'm 
just happy, my dear. <laughs> So, you're probably wondering what has me so down, aren't you? Well, she left me. My wife left me for the baker again. She called me selfish, said that I spend too much time at the pig track. But it's not as though I was losing. I was winning this time. What more does she want? I tell you, all I need now is a second chance. A second second chance. If only there was some ancient fortress secret that would let me live this year all over again. <laughs> huh? <sighs> Why does everyone always leave me? Steen? Huh? Oh, it's you. You appear to be doing well for yourself. Oh, this old thing? Uh, how about you, Olestine? Uh, what's that doctor's medicine for? Is your shaking sickness back? It's nothing. Just something to calm the nerves. I see. Look, I'll get to the point. It's almost the new year, and I'm ready and willing to do whatever you need to restart it again. I haven't decided if I'm going to. <laughs> You're trying to get rid of me, aren't you? Haven't I left you alone until now? You don't have to worry about me hanging on to you all next year, new year, next new loop year, whatever you call it. We do the lantern key thing and then go our own ways again. Snap, snap. I really don't need the help. Thank you. You don't need? Well, I need you to do it again. What can I do to change your mind? It's my choice to make. <sighs> Just be happy with what you have. Let's go home. <gasps> Done. And one day early, too. How do you know this is enough? It's enough if all of the shelves are full. Where do I put yours, then? Mine? Well, you didn't count yourself, so I made a lantern for you. Oh, my. This is very well made. You must have spent a lot of time on this. We'll have to add another spot next year, too. For who? For my baby sister. Uh, oh, yes, of course. For your baby sister. Since we're finished in here, how about I show you my favorite spot in the valley? Wow! You can see the whole valley from up here. That's our house over there. And that's where I play ball. Come here for a moment, Porter. I'd like to talk to you about something important. What is it? Do you know why I restarted the year? Does it have to do with your hands? <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Well, my own grandfather had the same shaking sickness. It's the reason he began teaching me when I was younger than you. There is no cure for it, and the year after he got it was... Well, it was not kind to him. I'm afraid that my hands will become like the branches of this tree. Moving without any say of my own, subject only to the blowing of the wind. That I won't be able to work at the lanterns anymore. That I'll become useless. I'll help you with the lanterns from now on. You won't ever be useless. You're going to be a good Big brother. Big brother? 
Does that mean you're not going to restart the year again? I've had such a wonderful time with you this year. I don't want to throw it away. And besides, I'd like to finally meet my granddaughter. Do you promise, Grandmother? <laughs> I promise. And please, call me Nona from now on. Then I promise to always take care of you, Nona. Whatever did I do to deserve a boy like you? is gone. Not gone. It's right here. Kaylin, what are you doing? I'm here to ask you to restart the year again, Olestine. Then the answer is no. I've made a promise to never use that lantern again, and I intend to keep it. No? It's my choice to make. You've made your own. Now we both have to live with the results. Hmm. We all learned the old fortress story as children, how they selfishly kept the secret to themselves, that it led to an army marching to their walls. And as I recall, it didn't end well for them. What are you saying? What if the whole town knew that the old stories were true? That you've been keeping them all in this loop year without any choice of their own? over and over and over again. You wouldn't want your daughter to know how many times she's been pregnant, would you? What would she think of dear old mom then? <gasps> you couldn't be that cruel. <laughs> if your hands are paining you now, imagine how much worse it will be without the help of friends or family. Once they learn the truth, they'll all leave you. Like my wife left me. When will it end for you? How many times will be enough? If your wife wants to go, let her! Like you let it all go? For so long? You're the one who told me not to just let life happen to me, but to take control. That's what I'm doing right now. This is good for both of us. I get my wife back, and you get your health. Oh, I don't want to threaten you, Olestine. I want to offer you a helping hand. Now, how do we make the blue fire? That's one coin for me, and one for your daughter. I've saved my very best for you two. Oh, these look strong. Think they might make it all the way to the moon tonight? <laughs> Ugh, does Dad always make that joke? Oh, yes, always. Now here you are, young man. Go join your mother and father. I'll be right behind you. You promised, remember? I remember. See, here's the lantern you made for me. Okay, Nona, I'll go ahead. Good work on the little boy. I think he actually believed you. 
Come on now. He won't even remember that you broke your promise when we're done. What are you doing? I'm driving the wagon. Do you know how? How hard could it be? Yeah! Let's go! We're not moving. Why aren't we moving? Oh, it feels like we're moving. Move! Move! Yeah! Olestein, you're not gonna need that tonight. <laughs> Nona's gone. Nona? Grandmother, what do you mean gone? With the wagon. My wagon? Where would she go? There's something I wasn't supposed to tell you, but it's important. Uh, oh, the baby! It would be faster to walk. We're not walking. Taken my mother to the old fortress to restart the year? It's true. He had to believe me. Restarting the year? And if we don't stop them, my baby sister won't be born. No one, no one is gonna stop my baby girl from being born. Where is this pig gambler now? At the old fortress. But it's gonna take us too long to get there. Let me worry about that, son. You steer us in the right direction. Steer? No, not that way! Back! Back! How do you make this thing go back? We made it. I got us here in time. <laughs> You're shaking worse than my hands. Come on, you. Huh? I remember glowing blue flowers in here. Are, are you sure we're doing it right? You need more light. Hmm. Ouch! Wow! There they are. Yes, yes, all very impressive, I know. You had the lantern over here, like some sort of key. Uh. <laughs> it's working! Understand! You have to turn it back the full year! Back to me! Before my wife left me! Or the maker! This time, I'll figure out how to keep her! I need a promise. A promise to pull her. I'm almost there! Pig Gambler. 
You don't get to take my little girl! What? Little girl? This is good. Uh, glad you like it. Um, uh, got any salt? Here. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm still surprised you brought me into your home after what I almost did. Can't hold almost against you. Uh, besides, it wasn't you who restarted the year over and over and over again on your family and everyone you knew without them ever knowing? No, I guess not. But Olestine had her reasons. I suppose so. She told me once, or maybe twice, that I had to take responsibility for my choices. I didn't understand what she meant at the time, but looking back now, I do. Hmm. Well, at least I have my house to go back to. My empty house. House? What, what was that? I guess we could ask her. <coughs> I said, pish posh. You'll stay here. Really? We've all made our own mistakes, Keelan. But those are in the past. For good this time. And I can always use another hand of the field. Only you have to promise to keep him away from the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> look, Nona, I lost my tooth again. Oh, oh, would you look at that? Did you 
Come down here for anything else, Porter? Oh, yeah. Mama's ready to see you now. Hmm. Is she still angry with me? Uh, I wouldn't bring up the whole restarting the year thing if I were you. I'll stay here. Don't worry. We'll come back to you. Thanks, Olestine. For everything. Please, come in. <laughs> come closer and say hello to your granddaughter. She's beautiful. <laughs> and look, she has your eyelashes, Porter. <laughs> Her name is Olestine. Oh, you... you... She's named after you, Nona. Hello, little Olestine, and welcome to the family. I've kept you waiting a long, long time, haven't I? Thank you. 